You may have heard the term pronation before. Without sounding too technical, pronation is a specific movement of the ankle joint when you land in your stride that causes the foot to fall inwards. Whether or not you pronate can actually dictate what type of shoe you're allowed to run in in order to stay injury free. But new research is contradicting what we thought we knew about pronation. So what changed? To briefly sum it up, for decades, pronation was considered bad and considered something that we needed to correct. It almost seemed like every single like common injury that you could get, like shin splints, IT band syndrome, and runner's knee, were all due to the fact that we were pronating. And the answer was pretty simple. It was get a pair of stability shoes and stop the pronation dead in its tracks. And while it sounds good on paper, the solution is a little bit more complicated than that. You see, according to the latest research, having an ankle joint that pronates is actually considered healthy. Depending on your stride length, cadence, and landing, your body needs to absorb up to seven times its own body weight. And all that force, well, it needs to go somewhere. And this is where pronation plays an important role. To compensate for that force, your body has a well-oiled shock absorption system. The first bastion of that is your ankle. Here, the pronation movement actually helps to offload some of that impact that travels up through your biomechanical chain from your ankle to your knee to your hip and so on. Now, say we lock out your ankle joint by placing you in a stability shoe. What essentially happens is that if you don't allow your ankle to pronate, we haven't actually decreased the amount of force that travels up through your biomechanical chain. All we've done is lock out your ankle joint, shifting the load from your ankle to your knee and potentially to your hip and so on, creating a higher load further up the chain. This is of course very oversimplified, so I've included a link to our background article in the description below if you wanna nerd out a little bit more. But I get it. It's easy to look at someone pronating and saying, this is wrong, we need to fix that. But the science is strong on this one. So what does that mean for you and your feet? Let's put one thing to bed right away. Shoes don't cause injuries. Injuries are typically caused by too much training versus too little rest. So if you increase your training load, you also increase the risk of getting an injury. Because running is a weight bearing sport, your body needs to catch up whenever you increase your training load. Increase it too much and you run an increased risk of injury as well. What does that mean for your choice of shoes? Honestly, not much. If you're running injury free, there is no real reason to change out anything. We do, however, have a recommendation. The article very clearly recommends that you should run in as neutral and as light shoes as possible. Essentially, we should just let the foot do what it wants to do and that will help us to run more efficiently and run better. We do have a secondary recommendation here at Running Expert and that's actually to run in different pairs of shoes. So essentially, if you have a slow run, maybe use a max cushion shoe. And if you have a fast run, use something like an interval shoe. It'll do two things. It'll make your runs significantly more enjoyable because you have the shoe that fits the purpose and secondly it'll sort of change the load and the stress that you put on your joints and ligaments and actually help you become a stronger runner so essentially it all boils down to having the right tool for the job you can hammer in a nail with a screwdriver but it's more fun to use a hammer first and foremost running should be fun running is one of the most simple and empowering sports that we have and putting limits and restrictions on what you can wear in order to stay injury free just doesn't really sit well with us so just remember to have fun and just go knock out some miles